I remember in my own life, my own grandpa, Michael O'Rourke, who came from Ireland about the year 1901 and drove a streetcar in Chicago. Met a lady named Grandma and had two boys, one of whom was my daddy. And then he had a boy, his first son, and he said, let us name our first boy after my daddy. So we will call him Michael O'Rourke. Well, I grew up and learned quickly to appreciate and love the man who had my name, or I had his. Uh, he drove a streetcar. And I remember the thrill of being in his great big streetcar and going through the streets of Chicago. I remember him bringing home. I lived in a house where chocolate was a word that I never saw. My grandpa brought home these Hershey bars that you could actually lift weights with and would give one to each of the kids. I thought he was God himself. <laughs> I remember <clears throat> sitting on top of his shoulders with my chin over to the top of his bald head and I saw this glowing, blinking light, red. And I stuck my finger right into the bowl of his pipe. What I don't tell people is I was 23 years old at the time. <laughs> Slow, very slow learner. I was 18. I got the word we did. Grandpa had a stroke. And after about a month, he died. That was 1960. I still cry for him, miss him, long to be with him. Now, I don't want to talk about my grandpa. but I don't know your story. But I'd like for a few moments to say, who is that person for you? Who is that person? And I'm sure every one of you has someone, or maybe, perhaps many, people who have been dear to you and good to you, who cherished you and made you feel warm and happy and special. I want you to go back and plunge into that memory just for a few moments. Not with pain, but with a sweetness that is love. Feel that sweetness. And then I want you to remember this. You will see them again. Easter Jesus is about you and what he did to death. He destroyed it. He went into the great, great dark abyss and with his tears and his blood and his love and his power, he broke through the abyss and let the sun in. In the same exit is there yet for you and for the people you love. It's hard to connect to something 2,000 years ago. It's hard to feel the presence and the power but if you think of some people and the dear people that you have felt hold you, help you, love you, and know this, they're fine. They're happy. They wait for you. It's going to be okay. Easter is a celebration of our future, of the people we have loved, of the God who has loved you. 
as much as bunnies are nice and eggs are taste good, I'd like you to know what this is about. It's about love that lasts. It's about a home where we have friends and we never ever have to fear again that they will go away. Jesus came for you. For you. And tonight and tomorrow and every day we live from now on we know is different because light came into the darkness and set us free. Give each other tonight a little extra hug if you can and know that the bonds of friendship and care and affection that bond us now are not on loan. They are forever. Enjoy that and enjoy the one who came to set you free and give you friendships and loves that never die. Happy Easter. God bless you. Thank you.